Hey guys, I've decided to make this uh, short video about some new changes in Robot Editor. It will be surely more clever to show and tell instead of writing it all down. So one of the changes is a visual change. I've made it all more iconic so you can find more easily what they're going to click on. Uh, I've also made uh, more iconic more buttons so before it was a little mess here uh, now you can find the button surely m much faster than before when it was just labeled uh, I think that is important for the editor so we can work faster and more more comfortable Okay, uh, the next change is, uh, as you could maybe see, when I click on a block, it scrolls and aligns to the top, so I could see all what's inside the block very easily. It's good when 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 going uh, between blocks, so it's faster uh, because, as you could see. Uh, the editor is getting bigger and bigger already. Okay, I've added uh, I've added a grid for the window. Uh, it could be useful too sometimes. I've also added object triangles. Oops, I'll just rename it to the triangles. That's uh, all about the wires. I've added a notice to the robot, so here we can write some notes uh, for our service, for ourselves, or when we will share the robot, we can write some to-do list here or something, anything. Okay. A good big change is undo and redo support. So, for example, now I move with the leg and rotate it and rotate something else and I can click undo the undo support is uh, fully made now there's also a redo support as you could see you can you can see what have been changed by undo or redo that could be useful too sometimes Okay, when speaking about undo and redo support, I've also made a previous version feature. Uh, every time you save your robot, a backup file is created in a backups folder. And sometimes it could happen that you save something that you didn't want to save uh, and you want to return to this previous version. So here you can easily find it by the date and time. You can click it and you can load it. As you can see, this leg is different. Uh, or you can load any other previous version. Yeah, or you can return to the currently saved version of this robot. So I'll return there. Uh, so I think this will be sometimes very useful too okay uh, there are more changes in this window as you could see uh, I've added this icon so one could better see what he's what he's editing objects joints and poses you can also switch between this with tap key Okay, uh, when editing objects, I've added this red little cross on the object that is the master object. Uh, that could be sometimes useful too, because one object must be the master, else or, or else uh, it doesn't work all well with the joints and so on. I won't now. I, I now won't tell why the master. That's or something else okay mm. now editing the poses 
is much better than before. Uh, I've also made uh, the selecting of objects that are overlapped. So when you click on one place, you can see that it selects object, and then it selects the object behind and behind. So it's easier to select an object now. It's also easier to ro uh, to manipulate or rotate with with these legs, so I don't need to press the shift or control as before. I just click on it to select, and I click and drag it. It follows the angle to the mouse position. It's uh, surely much much more clever than before. You could also see which object do you have selected on which joint it is connected and the angle of the joint so it's much more easier to make any, any other pose here for the spider as you could see yeah uh, as for the animation uh, there are some new keys you can press page down and page up to go to next or previous frame uh, you can also click here to go to, some, to, to any frame uh, for example I'll do click here and when I click uh, now on the basic it goes uh, and it fades from this pose to the basic pose okay uh, I can select uh, part of the of all these poses just uh, easily by dragging so I click and drag the mouse and pull the mouse uh, so now I have selected step 1 to step 4 uh, so when I press uh, space but I can play the animation and see how it works okay also for the page up and, and page down it works only in a selected poses so it's not now much easier when I want to uh, adjust walking for example with higher legs I'll just click on it and move it I'll click the next frame the next frame and the next frame so I can see the spider is now m walking with higher legs okay and this is about all about new changes so I'm looking forward to your reply and uh, to your ideas how to make it even better Bye.